Welcome to Qt eLearning channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the thermal shock. Description of damage. Thermal shock cracking can occur when high and non-uniform thermal stresses develop in a single event over a short time in a piece of equipment due to differential expansion or contraction. If the thermal expansion on traction is restrained, stresses above the yield strength of the material can result. Thermal shock cracking usually occurs when a much colder liquid contacts a much warmer metal surface. In refining, the concern generally arises after a large equipment fire is extinguished using fire water. Affected materials All metals and alloys Critical factors the magnitude of the temperature differential and the coefficient of thermal expansion of the material determine the magnitude of the stress. Stainless steels have higher coefficients of thermal expansion than carbon and alloy steels or nickel-based alloys and are more likely to see higher stresses. High temperature exposure during a fire followed by water quench to extinguish the fire can result in thermal shock cracking. Fracture is related to constraint on a component that prevents the component from expanding or contracting with a change in temperature. It is more prevalent in thick sections that can develop high thermal gradients. Cracking in cast components such as valves may initiate at casting flaws and progress through the thickness. Affected units or equipment FCC, coker, catalytic reforming, and high severity hydro processing units are high temperature units where thermal shock is possible. High temperature piping and equipment in any unit can be affected. Heavy wall machinery typically made of thick castings can be affected particularly those made of high chromium steels such as 12 chromium materials that have lost ductility such as chromium molybdenum equipment due to temper embrittlement are particularly susceptible to thermal shock Equipment subjected to accelerated cooling procedures to minimize shutdown time is potentially subject to thermal shock cracking. Appearance or morphology of damage as illustrated in figures surface initiating cracks may also appear as craze cracks prevention mitigation minimize situations where rain or fire water deluge can 
Contact hot equipment. Designed to minimize severe restraint in hot equipment that can potentially get severely quenched. Install thermal sleeves or other protective measures to prevent inadvertent cold liquid impingement on hot pressure boundary components. Inspection and monitoring. Thermal shock is uncommon, but when it occurs it results in highly localized cracking that may be difficult to locate since it mostly occurs as a single unpredictable event such as a fire severe storm or major excursion or upset it is not amenable to regular inspection monitoring methods to detect cracking resulting from thermal shock include visual testing may reveal cracking but it might be difficult to differentiate actual cracks in the metal from superficial craze cracks in the oxide layer liquid penetrant testing magnetic particle testing and ultrasonic testing Related mechanisms to thermal shock are Thermal fatigue and Short-term overheating stress rupture Summary Description Thermal fatigue cracking When high and non-uniform thermal stress develop over a short time due to differential expansion or contraction usually occurs when a colder liquid contacts a warmer metal surface. Surface initiating cracks may also appear as craze cracks, temperature range, cold liquid impinge on hot, affected metallurgy. All metals and alloys. Prevention. Prevent interruption in flow of high temperature line. Designed to minimize severe restraint. Install thermal sleeves. Review hot slash cold injection points. Inspection methods. This type of damage is highly localized and difficult to locate. VTPT, MT, and UT can detect cracking resulting from thermal shock. Practice time. Question number one. Materials that have lost ductility, such as chromium molybdenum equipment due to temper embrittlement, what will be the further damage? Answer is A. Question number two. Thermal shock damage may appear as Answer is D. Question number three. If the thermal shock damage may be present, which of the following should be checked? Answer is B. Question number four. 
Thermal fatigue is also a form of Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.